Welcome back to Action Tracks. You just heard it from Robert Parker before our commercial break in Lone Eagle. After taking the racing win, gonna be unable to freestyle tonight because he blew the engine up, but still managed to, to power his way onto the racing win with the rods hanging out the side of the block. We've still got four more trucks to freestyle, and coming out first, it's gonna be Greg Adams in the Bars Leak Eliminator. Greg with a great slap wheeling to really announce his presence in freestyle. Greg, a long time veteran out of Greencastle, Indiana, knows what he's doing out here and really puts on a nice show with some great looking trucks. Both he and his son Jack with the Defender and the Eliminator really pride themselves in creating the most beautiful truck out on the circuit. Adams attacking the fresh fan stack in the center and standing the truck straight up and down and slowly falling over back down to earth. A good run for Adams right here. Should get him some pretty good marks. If anything, the momentum's not quite there. Uh, really working one side of the obstacles. But really getting some good launches each time he hits the obstacles. Right there, you saw it. Some good air under the Eliminator truck. Coming back the other way. Hitting the racing lane, clearing all the cars, gonna whip it back around and come back and hit it again. That's going to be the end of the run for Greg Adams in the Eliminator. A good, solid run, really setting the tone nicely here at Huntsville Speedway. Looks like the score is going to come in at a 22. Not a bad score, a good way to set the tone. Taking a look back at some of the highlights, a great wheelie over the van stack. Greg really hitting some air under the old Eliminator truck. Next, we've got Outlaw Clydesdale, the wheelie winner. We talked about his troubles throughout the week earlier. Well, we're just trying to get through this race there, you know, try to pick them off one at a time. You know, it's been a little tough thing trying to uh, race and make this rear steering to do all this with a broke hand. And, uh, you know, I'm just I'm just glad I'm able to fight this, fight this old girl. She's working with me, so I'm hoping I can make it through one more. You heard it from Bennett Clark. He's got just a little bit more to go. He's trying his hardest to please the fans here in Huntsville. He's got two broken fingers, and that makes it really difficult to sky out and drive this monster truck. Every time he lands, his hands gonna flop around and probably bust those broken knuckles up. But Clark's got family in the area. He's been in the sport for 30 years. This is only the second time his parents have ever been able to see him perform. The other time was with the classic gray Clydesdale. So any of you monster truck historians out there know how long that's been. At least 20 years. And so Bennett's really going to want to try to put on the best show he can despite his disabilities tonight. Clark out there making some hits, not really the spectacular as he's going to need to outdo Greg Adams tonight in Huntsville. Perhaps one more hit over the racing lane. That looks like that's going to be all. The score is only going to be a 17. Not good enough for the win, but Bennett Clark hurting here tonight in Huntsville. Here comes the other half of the
the Truck Works team, Zach Adams, the son of Greg Adams. Zach's been racing. This is his third year, and he's growing and doing better each year. Zach actually has a bit of a BMX background. He's used to getting knocked around a little bit, so monster trucking is nothing for him. Launching the truck well already in the freestyle. He could be a competitor to his dad, perhaps a little Adam's rivalry here tonight. Approaching the van stack. A good hit, but not quite the air that his dad had. Coming back to the van stack. Another nice solid hit and a little bit of a rebound slap really there. Zach really didn't get after it a whole lot, but just enough to kind of show that he could pull the wheelie if he really wanted, but not a lot of space down on that end of the track. Probably making the wise driving decision. Oh, the leap of the night over the van stack, really getting the air underneath the wrist bone defender. Definitely one of the great maneuvers of the night. That should score well with the judges. That should move him up the rank. He's going to be right there competing against Dad tonight. He could knock the Bars Leak Eliminator off its perch in freestyle. The younger Adams really focusing on the van stack. Keeping that beautiful Rizlone Defender together, but putting on a good solid show for the fans in Huntsville. Looks like he's heading out onto the track to salute the crowd. The score for the Defender is going to be a 25. He's gonna vault into the lead in Huntsville. Looking at some of the highlights on our Action Tracks backtrack. Adams really focusing on the van stack, and rightly so. The best jump out on the track. That's gonna score him the most points, but it's coming down. Alan Pizzo in the printer has the last shot. He had starter problems during racing. He couldn't make the racing call. They crashed on the truck, gotten it back together, and he's gonna burn it up here in freestyle. You can count on that. Alan Pizzo, when he's having truck problems, he gets a little bit angry and he really wants to put on the best show possible for the crowd he's performing for. But right here, it looks like Pizzo's having some issues. I did not see the rear steering working. He saw Pizzo making a three-point turn down on the other end of the track. He's slowing down here and once again, making that three-point turn. Pizzo is furious right now. He's gonna do the best he can, but his momentum's gonna be really limited because he can't make the turn that he needs to do. Pizzo would love to be sliding the rear end out on the infield of the Huntsville Speedway, and he just can't do that tonight. He's really gonna have to be spectacular on each hit in the track because he's gonna suffer each time he has to turn around that truck. Pizzo really attacking the van stack. Perhaps the biggest air that's got to score him some points. He's got to do things like that to make up for that rear steering issue. Now it looks like he's going to make a lap around the speedway. How many people don't want to do this and make a lap around a racetrack? in their personal cars. Pizzo's doing it in his personal monster truck. That's gotta be a fun time. It's something to differentiate from the rest of the teams out on the track. Plus, without use of the steering, it's an opportunity to make a freestyle maneuver without having to use that rear steer. Pizzo making a nice pop on the first obstacle in the racing lane. Perhaps going to do a reverse here. 
No, he might have changed his mind with that FMX ramp in the foreground. Might not have been a good idea. Got no running a risky maneuver there. And so Pizzo wisely drives away from the reverser rather than risking damage to other equipment on the track. Coming back around again. Fresh obstacle there. A good chance for Pizzo to really pop the truck up. Looks like he's gonna come out on the front stretch and salute the crowd in Huntsville Speedway. Taking a look back at some of the highlights. That huge air right there. And then he also made that lap around the oval here at Huntsville Speedway. We'll have to see what the judges think. It's gonna be a 26. That's going to be good enough for the win here in Huntsville. Not by a lot, but the crowd liked it. Alan, you came out, you started cooking on the freestyle. You, you've been really carrying the momentum, but instantly the rear steer just wasn't there. Tell us about working the freestyle without the rear steer. It makes a lot more difficult. Um, I've been having issues all weekend. Rear steering not working. We thought we had it fixed. We come out, I changed a bunch of solenoids and everything. It started to work, but then it quit. So I don't know, I guess i got to go back and figure out what's going on. But, uh, you know, we do what we got to do, and uh, hopefully the fans are you know, happy when we're done. And seeing as I won the freestyle, I think they were happy. Wow, Monster Truck fans. What a night in Huntsville, Alabama at the Old School Motorsports Show. It's been a great time. All of the Old School Motorsports team has put on a spectacular show. All of the trucks rising to the occasion despite some mechanical gremlins. Alan Pizzo. Came out for racing, and a starter went out on him. Couldn't make the call. Thrashed on the truck. Came out for freestyle, and no rear steering on the truck. He really had to work it, but he thrilled the crowd and got the freestyle victory, leading to the sweep for the weekend. Bennett Clark comes out. He's got a broken hand, and he's muscling the Clydesdale around the track. Robert Parker from just over the hill. You can see his house from the speedway. He's got family all through the crowd. Comes out in the final round of racing, throttles on the truck around the final turn, and the engine lets go. He's able to muscle the Lone Eagle over the final set of cars to take the victory. What a night in Huntsville, Alabama. It's been a great time. We hope you've had a great time on Action Tracks. Until next time, we'll see you then. Roll Tide.